Hello and welcome to an original We Try This production. Today I'll be teaching you how to make unlockable objects in Game Maker. You can do it in Game Maker Lite or Pro, it doesn't matter. By unlockable objects, I mean we're going to unlock, let's say, a character, for example, by entering a specific code to unlock the character and make him selectable in the character select screen. Now I'm using my character select screen as part of this. So if you don't have a character select screen, you can just watch how I do it, and you can make yours based off of it, or you can watch my character selection tutorial, whichever one. So, what I have here, I have two objects. I have object, let me show you guys first. In my character select screen, I have a new character, object, orange select, which is going to be our orange player in the game. I already created his character select screen counterpart, so he's already selectable in the character select screen, but I'm going to make him an unlockable character. So what I have, I have orange select, and I have a locked version of him, which is when he's locked, and he can't be selected. I see this is already an object, object orange select. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add an event, mouse, left pressed. I'm going to execute some code. We're going to call it unlock equals get underscore string. Please enter an unlock code. So we're going to type in a phrase to unlock the character. Comma, quotation mark, type code here. So here, this is going to appear at the top of the box. It's going to say, please enter an unlock code. Then inside of the box where you would type, it would say type code here. Instead of being blank, it would just say type code here. You probably understand it more once you see it if you don't. So let's put that there. So we'll have if unlock it has to be specific because I type the capital U, so it has to be a capital U. If unlock equals in quotation marks, so it knows what it ha what it has to be. If it's oh wait, orange power, orange power. If unlock equals orange power, bracket instance underscore change. So I'm going to tell it to change into obj underscore orange select, which is the version of him, which is the version of the locked object that's selectable in the character select screen. So I'm going to put comma true for any create event. Necessary. Else. There's no other option else show underscore message invalid unlock code. Uh, I have an error. I don't know what it is. Let me see what it is. Hold on. Oh, here it is. I didn't put a. Okay, it's all good now. All good. So this is what we have. And then we have our orange select object. I already created all the character select screen aspects. If you want to know more about my character select screen aspects, you can watch my character select screen tutorial. So let me show you what it looks like. Hold on. I think I might have done something wrong. Well, it's not, it's still going to work. But there might be a little error, it might be a little bug where it automatically selects my character after I press OK. After I validate the unlock code, there might be a little bug, so I'll show you how to fix that. If, there, if it's there, hold on. Okay, so here you have my character select screen. My other objects are working fine. So when I click on orange so to select, please enter an unlock code here. If I type in hi, as an example, invalid unlock code. If I type in orange power, which was the thing, 
It starts the game as Orange Slayer. Yeah, that was a bug I mentioned. It automatically selected my character for me after I pressed OK. That was kind of the bug. To, to fix that, hold on. It works, but to fix that, because I don't like that, I uh, change this to a left release. This is my orange select object. So fix him. We'll change his left pressed event to a left released event. So it does automatically select him. I think that's what you would do. It's either that or change the other one. Let me let me redo that. Orange to oh, orange power. And yeah, that's how you would fix it. You change that to a left release, so it would automatically select your character for you. Then you can select them whenever you choose. And bam. Well, this has been an original. We try this production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.